Hi everybody. Welcome to today's Bunny Stories and Crafts. My name is Mr. Steve and what we're going to do today is we're going to read three stories and then we're going to do three crafts. So it goes like this. Story, craft, story, craft, story, craft. And they're all about bunnies. Let's get started. The first story we're going to read is called Muncha, Muncha, Muncha. In fact, all three of the stories are about the same bunnies. The stories are written by Candace Fleming and G. Brian Karras, and Muncha 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 is the first story. I hope you're ready. I sure am. For years, Mr. McGreely dreamed of planting a garden. He dreamed of getting his hands dirty, of growing yummy, yummy vegetables, and of gobbling them all up. But he never once tried it until this spring, said Mr. McGreely, this spring, by golly, I'm going to plant a garden. So he hoed and he sowed and he watched his garden grow. Lettuce, carrots, peas, tomatoes. Yum, yum, yummy, said Mr. McGreely. I'll soon fill my tummy with crisp, fresh veggies. But Mr. McGreely doesn't realize that there are three bunnies. Do you see them? That are watching. There they are. One, two, three. I think they want to get their paws on some of those vegetables too. One night when the sun went down and the moon came up, three hungry bunnies appeared. Tippy, 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 pat. <laughs> or munch, 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 munch. The next morning, when Mr. McGreely saw his gnawed sprouts, he was angry. So he built a small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. There, he declared, no bunny can get into my garden now. We'll see. And the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 pat. Spring hurdle, dash, dash, dash. Munch, munch, munch. <laughs> The next morning, when Mr. McGreely saw his nibbled leaves and his gnawed sprouts, he was really angry. So he built a tall wooden wall behind the small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. Hmm, he huffed. Those flop ears will never get over it. No bunny can get into my garden now. And the sun went down and the moon came up and be tippy tippy pat dig scrabble scratch 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 spring hurdle dash 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 <laughs> muncha 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 the next morning when mr mcgreely saw his chew his chewed stems his nibbled leaves and his gnawed sprouts he was really really angry so he made a deep wet trench outside the tall wooden wall behind the small wire fence all around his vegetable garden Ha! He snorted. Those puff tails can't get under it. They can't get over it. No bunny can get into my garden now. I guess we'll see. And the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 pat. Dive, paddle, splash, splash, splash. Dig, scrabble, scratch, scratch, scratch. Spring hurdle, dash, dash, dash. And then munch, munch, munch. Well, the next morning, when Mr. McGreely saw his chomped blossoms, his chewed stems, his nibbled leaves, and his gnawed sprouts, he was furious. So he hammered and blocked and sawed and stocked and drilled and filled and trapped and locked, and he built a huge, enormous thing before the deep, wet trench outside the tall wooden wall behind the small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. I have outsmarted those twitch whiskers for sure, he exclaimed. They can't get through it. They can't get under it. They can't get over it. No bunny, no way, no how. We'll get into my vegetable garden now. And the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 stop. The three hungry bunnies looked and smelled and touched the huge, enormous thing before them. And then tippy, 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 pat. Those three bunnies hopped away. The next morning, when Mr. McGreely saw his untouched vegetables, he was happy. I beat the bunnies, he whooped, and he did a little jiggly, wiggly victory dance. 
And then he climbed over, jumped across, squeezed between, and crawled under to get to his vegetable garden. Ah, said Mr. McGreely, at last. Smacking his lips, he picked and pulled up lettuce and carrots and peas and tomatoes. And with his basket overflowing, he reached inside for something yummy. Can you see something in his basket? Let's see. Oh no, the bunnies were in the basket. Muncha, muncha, muncha. Those bunnies. Well, Mr. McGreely learned a lesson that day. If you can't beat them, join them. And he shared his carrots with those bunnies. And that's the end of the first story, Muncha, Muncha, Muncha. And that means it's time for us to talk about our first bunny craft, a bunny butt. Look at that, it's a bunny butt. It's so easy to make. All you need is a paper plate, just like that. And then you need two bunny feet and you need a cotton tail, cotton ball, some glue and some, a pink crayon. And then you just glue your um, cotton ball right in the middle of the paper plate and then glue the feet to the bottom. You can use the pink to color in the pads of their paws and then you have a bunny butt. Isn't that silly? So the bunny's face is over here. We can't see the face, we just see the butt. I wonder if that's what Mr. McGreely would have seen if he was looking and saw those rabbits escaping after they got into his garden. What do you think? Well, you can make that craft soon, but we're gonna read another story. It is called Tippy, Tippy, Tippy Hide. Winter was coming and Mr. McGreely was getting ready. Down went his hammock, up went his storm windows, out went his snow shovel, and in went his garden hose. Then Mr. McGreely flopped onto his easy chair, flipped up his footrest, and opened his book. Ah, he said, now it's time to snuggle in for winter. But tippy tippy. Tippy tippy pat, knock a knock a knocker. Mr. McGreely opened his door and who did he see? Those three bunnies. Oh no, said Mr. McGreely when he saw the three little bunnies begging on his doorstep. I shared my carrots with you, but I'm not sharing my house. Now hop off, scram, shoo. Bam, he slammed the door. That night, a chill wind blew. Then tippy tippy. Tippy tippy wiggle through the mail slot. Tippy jiggle. Three little bunnies cozy inside. Now tippy 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 hide. The next morning, Mr. McGreely reached for a banana, but all he found was tail fluff. Hey, some bunny's been in my fruit, he cried. So he searched high and low, but the bunnies were nowhere to be found. He didn't notice that they were looking at him out the window. These pesky puff tails, fumed Mr. McGreely. They got in one time, but they won't get in twice. And he nailed the mail slot shut. Tap, tap. That night, an icy rain prickled down. Then, tippy, 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 jump. Down the chimney, tippy bump. Three little bunnies cozy inside. Now tippy, tippy, tippy hide. The next morning, Mr. McGreely flopped into his easy chair, but instead of a fluffy pillow, all he found was a sooty paw print. Somebody's been in my chair, he hollered. So he searched here and there, high and low, but the bunnies were nowhere to be found. Those naughty wiggle nosers, seethe Mr. McGreely. They got in two times, but they won't get in three. And shove, stuff, huff. He plugged the chimney up. That night, a thick snow fell. And then tippy, 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 dangle. Through the window, tippy, tangle. Three little bunnies cozy inside. Now tippy, tippy. 
tippy tippy high. The next morning, Mr. McGreely pulled back his shower curtain, but instead of shampoo and a loofah, he found no smudges. Somebody's been in my tub, he hollered. So he searched above and below, here and there, high and low, but the bunnies were nowhere to be found. Those infuriating flop ears, flared Mr. McGreely. They got in three times, but they won't get in four. And hammer, 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 smack, slam. He boarded up all the windows. That night, the wind howled and the temperature dropped down, down, down. Then, tippy, 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 heap. Turn the doorknob, tippy creak. Three little bunnies, cozy inside, tippy, 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 hide. The next morning, Mr. McGreely opened his eyes, but instead of a teddy bear next to him, all he found were bunny drops. Some bunny's been in my bed, he yelled, and he searched over and under, above and below, here and there, high and low, but no bunnies were nowhere to be found. Blast those wily twitch whiskers, raged Mr. McGreely. I'll show them. They got in four times, but they absolutely, positively won't get in five. And mix, slap, smear, stack, he bricked in both his doors. Only Super Bunny could get in through that, said Mr. McGreely. Then, tired but triumphant, he flopped into his easy chair, flipped up his footrest, and opened his book. Ah, he sighed, no more bunnies. And he snuggled in to wait winter out. So you can see his house, all the windows are boarded up but you have to look really closely, but the bunnies are right there outside his house. And I bet they're pretty cold, huh? At last, one morning, Mr. McGreely sniffed the air and he declared, spring has sprung. So he closed his book, he climbed out of his easy chair and peeked between the cracks of his boarded up windows. Do you know what he saw? He saw tiny new leaves, tender young shoots, fresh green sprouts, and bunnies. Mr. McGreely pushed and ran, pounded and bam, pulled and kicked and shook and slammed, but he couldn't get out of his house. He locked himself in. Oh my goodness. Tippy tip. Be tippy smash. And there are the bunnies smiling as they look in. And there's Mr. McGreely not looking so happy. And do you know what he's doing? He's making a sound like we saw in the first book. Muncha, muncha, muncha. And that's the end of Tippy, Tippy, Tippy Hide. Okay, everybody. What we're going to do now is we're going to talk about our second bunny craft. This bunny craft is a hand print bunny. All you need to make this craft is you need to have a piece of paper, crayon, and scissors. That's it. You might need a grown up to help you too. What you do to start with is you trace your hand on the paper. Okay, once you trace your hand, it's time for you to cut it out. After you cut out your handprint, there's a couple things that you need to change about your handprint to make it look like a bunny. For one, one thing that we have to do is these two are the bunny ears. So this finger we don't need at all. So you can take your um, scissors and you can just cut across just like that. Boop. Okay. And now these are going to be the bunny arms. So what we need to do is cut down like that to make it so it's similar to this. See how that's got a big cutout and that's small. So make this one bigger. So that's what mine looks like there. When you fold in the two parts there, you're having the bunny hugging himself or herself. There's the bunny arms. And they're not going to be perfectly even, but you could try to make them that way if you wanted to. You just need to cut a little bit to make it look however you want it to. 
So I'm gonna just color in my bunny ears and my bunny face. And make sure you put whiskers on your bunny because that's gonna make it look more like a bunny. And then on the bottom, you can put some bunny paws if you want. And that's my handprint bunny. See? All right, let's read the third story in the Mr. McGreeley Bunny series. The third book is called Tippy 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 Splash. I wonder where they are. Mr. McGreeley had bunny problems. He had bunnies in his garden, bunnies in his cupboard, bunnies in his shed, and bunnies in his bed. I can't take it anymore, said Mr. McGreeley. I need a break. I need to escape. I need a day at the beach. Mr. McGreeley grinned as his eye deer grew. What fun, he exclaimed. I'll search for shells. I'll fly a kite in the sky, surf on the waves, and build a big, tall sandcastle. Best of all, there won't be a pesky puff tail in sight. So bright and early the next morning, Mr. McGreeley packed his surfboard and snorkel, his sand pail and shovel. Then he bustled off to put on his bathing suit and tippy, 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 pat, click, clack, snap. Minutes later, Mr. McGreeley slid into the driver's seat. He didn't realize the bunnies were in the car with him. He said, goodbye, bunnies. Hello, fun. And he hummed a snappy, happy tune all the way to the beach. Once there, he spread out his blanket and flopped onto his belly. Ah, he said, let the fun begin. But tippy, 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 pat, flip, flop, flop. When Mr. Greeley saw that the three little bunnies were sunbathing on his blanket, he was angry. Oh no, he said, no bunny, no how, no way is sharing my fun day. He stomped away in search, of in search of shells. Sift, sift, poke, look, lift. He uncovered half a sand dollar and two cracked clam shells. By golly, that was fun, said Mr. McGreeley. And just look what I found. He skipped back to his blanket. Meanwhile, tippy, 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 grab, plucked from the sand, tippy nab, three little bunnies, combing for shells, dragging a sack as big as them, uh, dragging a sack as big as themselves. And then they said, oof. When Mr. McGreeley saw the three little bunnies big heap of sea treasure, he was really angry. Trying to show me up, huh? He sputtered. Well, let's see you wily twitch whiskers do this. Grabbing a kite, he ran up and down, up and down the beach. Huff, huff, gasp, pant, puff. The kite bounced along behind. By golly, that was really fun, said Mr. McGreeley. And my kite even lifted off for a second. He headed back to his blanket. Meanwhile, tippy, 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 dash, down the shoreline, tippy, flash, three little bunnies flying a kite, clutching the string with all their might. Whee! When Mr. McGreeley saw the three little bunnies kite, swooping and soaring above the clouds, he was really, really angry. You infuriating flop ears may have caught the breeze, he cried, but I bet you can't catch a wave. And tucking a surfboard under his arm, he sprinted across the sand, dove into the surf, and... Crash, smash, glub, glub, glub. He washed ashore, spitting and sputtering. <laughs> that was fun. <coughs> Mr. McGreeley coughed, and he dripped back to his blanket. Meanwhile, tippy, 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 dash, riding the waves, tippy, splash, three little bunnies gliding on shore, then wiggle and jiggle and giggle and come back for more. Cow bunnies! When Mr. McGreeley saw the three little bunnies shooting the curls and riding the waves, he was furious. Blast you, wily twitch whiskers, he shouted. 
You want to see fun? I'll show you fun. Snatching up a pail and a shovel, he stormed down the beach to the sand castle contest. First prize wins lunch at the veggie hut, said the judge. Mr. McGreely dropped to his knees in the sand. By golly, he fumed. Let's see those four pod show-offs do this. And he started building. But crumble, tumble, plop, plop, slop. All he could make was a mound of wet sand. So much for my fun day, said Mr. McGreely, and he wiped a tear away. But then, tippy, 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 ta-da! Mr. McGreely looked from the bunnies to the other castles, then back to the bunnies. Well, maybe, he sighed, just this once. So together, they shoved and shaped and scooped and caked and molded and piled and padded and raked and they built a big tall sand castle it was decorated with seashells a bright kite fluttered from one of its towers and the surfboard was its drawbridge the winner declared the judge and he slapped a blue ribbon onto the castle and he gave a gift certificate to mr mcgreely mr mcgreely grinned now that, he said, was fun. And the four of them went to the veggie hut. Muncha, muncha, muncha. And they had a great lunch. And that's the end of Tippy Tippy Splash. Okay, everybody, let's make one more bunny craft. We're going to make paper doll bunnies. To make these bunnies, you need one of these pieces of paper or at least recreate the outline of it. If you need one of these pieces of paper, you can send me an email and I will make one for you. What we have to do first is cut the big rectangle. Okay, once you have that cut, what you have to do is fold your paper accordion style. So I'll do the first fold like this so you can see. So we're basically folding all the gray part down like that okay and then we're gonna fold back the other way behind like an accordion so now see how it's like an accordion so we put it back like the way it was and then what we need to do is cut the outline of the bunny's face when it comes to the side over here you want to make sure that you don't cut around that you need to leave that here because that's how they're going to st stick together is with that part so don't cut there so see how i did not cut here that's going to make it when i open it up they're all stuck together, just like that. Oh, that's silly. Another one is made, half of another one, so you can cut that off. If that happens, you can just cut it off, no problem whatsoever. So there they are, and you can decorate them any way you want to. That's what I did. I made all each one a different color, and each one had a different face. This is a curious bunny. This is a angry bunny. This is a content or a happy bunny. And this is another happy bunny. I hope you have fun making that. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching the bunny stories and crafts. I hope you had fun and I hope you make some fun crafts. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye.